Hello and welcome to the five reasons to visit Utah. If you remember my last broadcast, I gave you the five reasons why not to live in Utah. But I will give you now the five reasons to actually visit Utah, even if it's for like a month or so. Because Utah does have a lot of very beautiful scenery. I mean, we have Zion's National Park. Don't get me wrong, the ants there are like humongous, but it's still a beautiful scenery there. I've been there and I was camping there for a week and it was actually very great. I mean, you, you do rock climbing there. You can just do scenic walks in the nature. I mean, it is very beautiful in, in Zion's National Park. The other reason, well, that was reason number one was Zion's National Park. Reason number two is because we also have um, Big and Little Cottonwood Canyon. You heard me right. Big and Little Cottonwood Canyon. And in in the summertime, when you go up there into the canyons, oh my God, the scenery is so amazing. I mean, I went up there to uh, basically spread my late fiance's ashes up there with her son because I figured that that'd be the best place for her ashes to be is in nature, where everyone came from. But um, the canyons are so beautiful in, in the springtime. I mean, all the greenery, all the... All the streams and everything like that, I mean, is so wonderful. That's our second reason, is our canyons. Our third reason is we have Park City. Park City is a great place to visit. It is a bit ex on the expensive side, but if you don't mind the price tag and you just want to go up there and check it out, Park City is very, very beautiful. I mean, I've worked up there before. I've done uh, construction as well as landscaping up there, and... It is a beautiful city. It is about 30 minutes away from where I live. And it's not really that bad. I mean, I, if you know how to drive and get there, you can get there pretty fast as long as you at least obey the rules of the road. But Park City is a very amazing place. I mean, I actually, if I could work up there again, God knows I would. The only problem is, is in the wintertime, getting to Park City requires uh, snow tires and chains plus four-wheel drive. And so if you don't have either of those and we have a bad snowstorm, you're basically not going to be getting up there anytime soon. But still, Park City in the summertime is also very beautiful. It is very hot. I mean, when you come, you go to Park City, it, the, the drive is worth it. You get up there, you're, you're looking around, you see all the, the stunning buildings. We've, I've, like I said, I've done construction up there, and it is very beautiful up there. That's my third reason. My fourth reason would be because, well, we actually do have some pretty good parks around here. We have Lake Liberty Park, Murray Park. Our parks here are actually pretty big. Liberty Park is sort of a, I guess you say it takes up like four city blocks. Maybe more, I'm not exactly sure. There's a lot of camping there. Well, okay, sorry, not very camping camping, but there's places where you actually have barbecues. Those places you could actually set up for a big old event for your family to go to in case you have, say, 20 plus family members to go to this event. And you could barbecue and actually have a good time in Liberty Park and in Murray Park. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of parks up here in Utah. And I'm not talking about Park City, but <laughs> although I already did. But the parks are also a very good reason as well. So that'd be my fourth reason to visit Utah. The fifth reason to visit Utah. Although I, I am very sort of opposed to the LDS religion here in Utah. And actually being able to go and walk through the temple grounds, if you're not LDS or even our LDS. The temple grounds are very well maintained and actually look very nice. And it, there's beauty in the temple grounds. Like I said, I, I'm not LDS. I will never become LDS. At least not a Utah Mormon because Utah Mormons as I reported in my last video, are a bit stuck up, but that's just for that. That video was already posted like a week ago, so this is a new video. So our basic five wonderful reasons to visit Utah is because we got Alta, Snowbird, Brighton. These are three places up here in Utah that you can snowboard, ski, as well as sled. And in the winter time, they are amazing to do all that stuff. We also got, you can go, you can go, I think of those places in the summertime as well and actually just walk around and enjoy the scenery without the snow. 
So basically our skiing is one of the good reasons why to visit Utah. Zion's National Park is very good to visit in the summertime. Yes, I grant you, it does get hot, but it's well worth it. And then we got Big and Little Cottonwood Canyon, which also has a very lot of beautiful scenery in it. I mean, back the backdrop for any of your uh, selfie pictures will be amazing. As well as, like I said, we've got, I got, I mentioned five, like Park City, the Canyons, Snow Skiing, <laughs> Science National Park, as well as our, our state parks like Liberty and Murray Park, as well as other parks. So Utah is a good place to visit. I just would not recommend staying living here unless you don't mind having the Zion's National Curtain, sorry, the Zion's Curtain, should I say, surrounding you. That's what I call, and most other people call, the mountains surrounding Utah is the Zion's Curtain. I mean, Utah did originally start out as a big old body of water called Lake Bonneville. It dried up, and what was left over was called the Great Salt Lake. The Great Salt Lake is a okay place to visit as well, as long as you don't really mind the fact that it actually does reek. I mean, it does it stinks really bad. And the reason why that is is because basically um, our big gold and copper mine up here in Utah called Kennecott decided to put a railway th dividing the fresh water and the salt water to make it so the fresh water wouldn't clean out the, the salt water to make it so it wouldn't stink. Because when I was younger, I used to go to the Great Salt Lake, and you could actually float in it. You could just walk right inside there, and you'd be able to float in the Great Salt Lake because of the high salt content. Nowadays, I wouldn't actually recommend actually getting in the water because you might not like the smell, and I don't think you're going to be floating anymore because, well, you actually might float. Because it, the Great Salt Lake is actually a big, massive body of salt water. Probably more salt than the ocean. I'm not exactly sure about that. But I try to avoid the Great Salt Lake nowadays just because they took they made it so the fresh water does not actually clean out the salt water lake like it used to. So the Great Salt Lake has a very potent uh, stench to it. And... On bad rain days or snow days, you can actually, the stench from the Great Salt Lake actually will travel as far as up to 75 miles away from the body of water itself. I know this for facts because I've lived in a few different states here, in, sorry, cities here in Utah. And when we were expecting like a bad rain day, you can actually just smell the, the, the stench off the Great Salt Lake from these other cities. Doesn't quite reach Cedar City, but give it some time. I'm sure it will, as long as we can get out of this drought we're getting into. We've been getting a lot of rain lately, which will help out with that, I'm hoping. But the Great Salt Lake is good for you if you are a boater. We also have, the, um, what was it called? It's not Bonneville Lake. We have, oh my gosh. There's like a lake up there by Park City you can actually boat on as well. We have a few. We actually have a few freshwater lakes here you can actually boat on and and ski on, you know, water ski, and and bodyboard on and stuff like that. It's really fun. So Utah does have a lot of fun stuff about it that's worth visiting. So I suggest you actually go check it out because, like I said, Utah does have a lot of great places if you're a visitor. If you don't mind the smell from the Great Salt Lake whenever we have bad weather. And you don't mind the fact that Utah is sort of a closed state just because the mountains that surround us, as well as other ideas, then move here to live here. It's your call. But like I said, those were my five reasons why to visit Utah. Utah does have a lot of beauty in it. And if you take the time to see it, I think you're going to like it because I do. I mean, I go to visit the canyons a lot and oh my God, the beauty there is so amazing. I've been in Cedar City where I've seen our FEMA camps. I've also been up in the canyons in, up around Cedar City and the beauty is amazing. In fact, if I can find it, I do have a few videos from Cedar City that I will actually post up on here uh, at a later time that shows you some of the beauty in, our, in the Cedar City and some of our canyons. 
But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. And please stay safe out there, okay? Until next time. Bye.